Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. Hope you've had a great week so far. Hope you've had an awesome week of betting as well. And uh, yeah, we got 10 matchups on this NBA slate. Get ready to start off the weekend. A lot of weekend action, college basketball, March Madness, a lot of NBA, NHL. Going to be a super fun weekend. I love it. Be sure to watch my live stream Saturday morning at 1030 Eastern. And uh, yeah, it's super fun. Come hang out. Go over and pick some parlays and go over all the games and everything. So yeah, that'll be super fun. Be sure to tune in for that. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you guys already haven't. Join the channel. It's been super fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. 10 matchups. Busy Friday night. Starting with the Sacramento Kings versus the Boston Celtics. Sacramento 16-24. and 24. 17 and 23 against the spread. Boston 20 and 20. 18 and 22 against the spread. Boston opening up a seven and a half point favorites with the over under at 235. Last 10 games for Sacramento. Four and six in their last 10. Boston, you know, five and five in their last 10. Coming off a, you know, kind of a bad loss to Cleveland. Sacramento. 4-13 Four and thirteen against the spread in their last seventeen. Four and thirteen in their last seventeen as well. So, zero oh and ten on the road against Boston. Just no success against Boston. Boston, you know, ten and ho- ten and zero oh at home against Sacramento. They are just one and four against the spread in their last five. You know, I do like Boston in this matchup. Sacramento has just been a horrible team this season. Um, I like Boston to get back on track after a bad loss to Cleveland. I'm going to take Boston minus 7.5 and and, uh, give me the under 235 as well. Next matchup, we have the San Antonio Spurs versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Spurs 21-16, 21-16 against the spread. Cleveland 15-25, 16-24 against the spread. Spurs opening up as 4.5 point favorites with the over-under at 218.5. As far as injury goes, I do see DeMar DeRozan is questionable for Friday, and so is Kevin Love, so be sure to check out those injuries prior to. Last 10 games for the Spurs, 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Cleveland, 5-5 five and five in their last 10 as well. Spurs, 16-4 and four in their last 20 meetings against Cleveland. 8-2 and two in their last 10 on the road against Cleveland, so they've had their success against Cleveland. Cleveland 6 and 14 against the spread in their last 20, 1 and 4 in their last 5 games, you know, that win coming to Boston, but prior to that riding that four game losing streak, you know, I like the Spurs. I like the Spurs with or without DeRozan, honestly. I just don't don't trust this Cleveland team. Very poor team. Give me Spurs minus 4 and a half and I like the under 218 as well. Next matchup, we have the Brooklyn Nets versus the Orlando Magic. Brooklyn 28 and 13, 22 and 19 against the spread. Orlando 13 and 26, 18, 20 and 1 against the spread. Brooklyn opening up as seven and a half point favorites with the over under at 223 and a half. Last 10 game. Oh, I do see uh, Kyrie Irving is probable for for Friday, so be sure to check on his status for Friday's game. Uh, you know, Orlando battling a bunch of injuries as well. Uh, Brooklyn nine and one in their last ten. Orlando two and eight in their last ten. These two teams did play on February twenty fifth, with Brooklyn picking up a one twenty nine to ninety two win. I mean, Brooklyn minus seven and a half, and the over. That's it. I mean, that's all there is to say. Not betting on the Magic team. Betting on Brooklyn. Brooklyn's been probably my favorite team to bet on so far this season in the last few weeks. Brooklyn all day. Next matchup, we had the Detroit Pistons versus the Houston Rockets. Detroit 11 and 29, 2017 and 3 against the spread. Houston 11 and 28, 12 and 27 against the spread. Houston opening up as favorites at minus one and a half, with the over under at 217 and a half. Last 10 games for Detroit, 3 and 7 in their last 10. Houston still holding the streak, 0 and 10 in their last 10. Detroit, 6-1 against the spread in their last seven against Houston. You know, 
five and one or five and zero oh against the spread against Houston as well on the road, playing good against Houston. Houston currently on an eighteen game losing streak, which is unheard of. One and ten against the spread in their last eleven. The fact that they're favored in this game kind of blows my mind. Detroit not much better, but Detroit's had a you know they can cover some spreads and they've won some games here and there. You know, give me Detroit plus the points in that matchup, plus one and a half, and give me the under. It should be a low-scoring game. Next matchup, we have the Golden State Warriors versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Golden State 21 and 20, 20 and 21 against the spread. Memphis 18 and 19, 20, 16 and 1 against the spread. Memphis opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over/under at 224 and a half. Do see Curry is questionable for Friday's matchup. Be sure to check on him. Uh, Golden State five and five in their last ten. Memphis five and five in their last ten as well. Last ten games for Golden State. Or I'm not. I'm sorry. Not last ten games. Two and five against the spread in their last seven. They are two and five in their last seven. Fourteen and six in their last twenty against Memphis. So they've had a lot of success against Memphis. Memphis six and two against the spread in their last eight. Two and four in their last six. You know, if Curry does play here, I love the Warriors plus three and a half. I think that's a perfect number. I mean, too many points, honestly. Memphis, not even the better team in this matchup. Go ahead and give me Golden State plus three and a half and give me the over as well. Next matchup, we have the Pacers versus the Miami Heat. Indiana 17 and 22, 15 and 24 against the spread. Miami 22 and 19. 18 22 and one against the spread Miami Miami opening up his favorites at minus four and a half with the over under at 215 and a half um last 10 matchups for Indiana two and eight in their last 10 Miami eight and two in their last 10 Indiana one and nine against the spread in their last 10 two and eight in their last 10 you know one and six against the spread in their last seven against Miami and straight up as well, so no success against Miami. Miami nine and four against the spread in their last thirteen. They're seven and one in their last eight at home. Taking the home team here, Miami minus four and a half. Indiana playing very poor basketball. I like Miami to cover at minus four and a half, and uh, I like the over two fifteen and a half as well. Next matchup, we have the Utah Jazz versus the Toronto Raptors. Utah twenty nine and ten. 26 12 and 1 against the spread. Toronto 17 and 23. 18 and 22 against the spread. Utah opening up as five and a half point favorites with the over under at 229 and a half. Last 10 games for Utah. 5 and 5 in their last 10. Toronto just 2 and 8 in their last 10. You know, Toronto currently riding a six game losing streak. Utah, you know. They had that amazing run the first half of the season, and they've kind of toned it down a bit, taking some losses here and there. Coming off a nice Boston win, I like, you know, definitely rolling with the Jazz at minus five and a half. I think that's a pretty low line against a a Toronto team that, you know, battling a bunch of injuries and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, give me Utah minus five and a half, and I like the over two twenty nine and a half too. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Bulls versus the Denver Nuggets. Chicago 18 and 21, 21 17 and 1 against the spread. Denver 24 and 16, 19 and 21 against the spread. Denver opening up as six and a half point favorites with over under at 229. Last 10 games for Chicago, 5 and 5 in their last 10. Denver 8 and 2 in their last 10. These two teams did play on March 1st with Denver picking up a 118 to 112 victory. Chicago 0 and 8 in their last 8 against Denver. 0 and 12 on the road against Denver. Denver 6 and 2 against the spread in their last 8. 7 and 1 in their last 8, you know, 12 and 0 at home against Chicago. Give me Denver minus 6 and a half here and I like the over as well. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Mavericks versus the Portland Trail Blazers. Dallas 21 and 18, 18 and 21 against the spread. Portland 23 and 16, 19 and 20 against the spread. Dallas opening up as three point favorites with the over under at 234. Last 10 games for Dallas, 7 and 3 in their last 10. Portland 
five and five in their last ten. They are playing though the Pelicans, you know, on Thursday night in a doubleheader. So we'll see what happens in that matchup. Um, Dallas coming off, you know, a pretty nice win against the Clippers, following a loss to you know a bad loss to the Clippers by ten. You know, beating Clippers one hundred five to eighty nine here. Um, you know, I love obviously I'm very biased because I'm a Mavs fan, but love my love Mavs at minus three here. Just, just taking the I'm just taking the I don't know it's gonna definitely love the over, but get definitely gonna take Mavs. Always gonna take Mavs. Um, but yeah, I love the over. Should be a shootout. Last matchup of the night, we have the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Phoenix Suns. Minnesota nine and thirty one. 17 22 and 1 against the spread. Phoenix 26 and 12. 26 and 12 against the spread. Phoenix opening up as 11 point favorites with the over under at 231. Last 10 games for Minnesota 2 and 8 in their last 10. Phoenix 8 and 2 in their last 10. You know, these two teams are playing on Thursday night, you know, as I'm recording. So um, the line is pretty much the same. I st- I still like Phoenix at minus eleven. I think the line was minus ten, somewhere around there. So we'll see what they do on Thursday night. But I still like Phoenix minus eleven against a very bad Minnesota team. And um, you know this Phoenix team was just six and one in their last seven. Minnesota, you know, just two and eight in their last ten. We're rolling with Phoenix here, and that's how it's going to end this video. Oh, and I like Phoenix in the over. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Support the channel. And uh, be sure to check into my live stream on Saturday morning at 7 or at 1030 Eastern. It's going to be super cool. And uh, well, yeah, we'll get some parlays and picks build up for you guys. And um, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck with your picks on Friday. And I will see you guys on Saturday. Have a good one, folks.